Hi, this is Joe again with another review. I was saying this video, I'm going to be discussing the 1960 horror film, The Leech Woman. Now, of course, this movie is a stereotypical plot of a horror movie at that time. Uh, in terms of where the story went and how it eventually went, it's pretty stereotypical for this time. And it had to be with a, a, an alcoholic woman who was obsessed with getting her youth back. And she convinces her husband to go into the deepest part of Africa and to find this old woman who approached them. And she was willing to give the, the woman the secret to become younger. And it has to do, and the, and the, and the concoction that was used, and it has power mixed with this enzyme. And the enzyme is at the base of the skull. You have to kill a guy, get get this enzyme and mix it with this powder, and you drink it down, and, and, and you become young. But but the thing only works for about approximately twenty four hours. <clears throat> but the woman that but, but the woman involved, she didn't give she didn't give a damn. She wanted to stay young, uh, you know, for the rest for the rest of her life. She she didn't care. Who got in her way? Not as long as she stays young, because she was an old, decrepit, drunk, and she now she wanted to be a young drunk, basically. And the first person that she sacrificed was her husband. She was the first one to get bumped off, and you know, for the second one to get the enzyme from the base of the skull. And th and then, the rest of the movie, she's going off one person after another, calling her a, a leech. Can you just suck the you know, a leech sucks the blood of people. That's basically what, what, what she, she doesn't turn into an actual leech. There's a disappointing thing in this movie. She doesn't turn into, into an actual leech. Which would have been way cooler than, than, than this movie. And so so what happened is the other people who were, who knew her can't figure out what, what was, what's going on. And of course they go after her. And of course she ends up Fine with they you know, find all the people in the movie so that she, she stay young and kill uh, someone to get the enzymes to keep keep her staying young. And of course, what happens is big surprise, big surprise to those of you who didn't see this movie. Big spo big spoiler here. She does die. She does get killed off at the end of this movie. Uh, but but like I said, it's a stereotypical movie. Of the, of this type, that came out about that time, in in the fifties and it's kind of like a, like a B horror movie, without the big, you know, insect in it. Uh, like you just said, it's really disappointing that the um, that the woman doesn't, doesn't actually turn into a leech. I mean, that that would have been more interesting and cooler than anything else. But 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 if that happened. If that had happened, if the, if the writers of this movie actually wrote that in, that she actually turned into an actual physical leech. You know, we turned into like one of the stereotypical monster movies that was over, overdone to death by, by 1960 by the time this movie came out. So, but, so, but, I mean, other than that, this, this movie was, okay, I thought it was, I thought it was boring, to, boring to watch because, like, like I said, twice the race, she's going turn into a leech. But, but it was kind of cool how she's trying to uh, kill somebody to get get the enzyme. She, she was killing women. Uh, she killed one woman and, and the uh, youth portion portion there uh, didn't work as long as it, it would have killing a guy. So, so now she's trying to figure out, kill more guys so, so that she can not uh, the, the uh, youth serum will, will work um, longer, and it's getting, it was getting to the point, I mean, this movie was getting to the point of ridiculous, uh, of who, of who she's trying to kill, she's trying to pretend that she's a, a, a younger, look, better looking niece for a while, and then it says, oh, we want to see this other woman, and, and oh, she's not around, and then, and then when the portion, the, 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 the use of them wore off, she, she converted back, and then that, and then the guy says, "Oh, I'm attracted to this person. I want to see her," and it says the whole rigmarole piece of piece of turd of a film that that 
you know, people were make fun of this movie. This movie came out, you know, in 2021 instead of back in 1960. But like I said, these type of movies were pretty prevalent back then. And uh, it's kind of crazy cluster mess of, of this film. Uh, but, but it does have a plot. I mean, I say it doesn't have a plot. But, but I feel like it was like maybe, even though this movie's not very long, it's about an hour and 17 minutes. But it's like, Maybe 17 minutes too long. Um, I mean, if it's like an hour long uh, feature or something, or, or, or an hour long television show, it would have been better off. Or like a Twilight Zone episode, it would look better as a Twilight Zone episode than this thing. Uh, than an actual feature length movie. Uh, and ironically, is the younger uh, actress who played the, the, you know, the woman who gave this drunk, the the put the the uh, truth the the youth serum, actually did store in the Twilight Zone episode, the one with the boxer. You know, he gets made this big wish that the boxer would uh, lose an uh, next fight or something, and she played the mother of the little boy. Uh, she plays the younger uh, leader of this tribe who get, gives gives this woman the the, the youth uh, serum. So. Or, or at least, or at least, sort of say the formula, I should say. Uh, but as the movie itself, I know it's all, it's over six and a half minutes already. Right, this video, it's six and a half minutes. It's been too long We're talking about the, the wasp woman. I'm trying to pan this out a little bit. So, so uh, this this movie is is okay, but but not uh, great because it's like I said earlier, like I just said, it's like a serial tip of stereotypical film at this time. That's my review of the movie The Wasp Woman. Please click on the video, please rate it. Please subscribe to my channel. Please forward this video to your Facebook pages. You can check out all my reviews and on my YouTube channel at rallyc.com. That's all W-D-Y. And that's C.com. That's the homepage to rally reviewer, Christine Moore. And please check out all of his videos on his website. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.